Good evening, and thank you all for coming to today's speech. Today's is persuasive speech. Uh, just want, it's, uh, we're going to be talking about recycling. And uh, so basically, in America, in 2013, according to the EPA, uh, we generate about 254 million tons of uh, trash and recycled. And uh, we so we recycled and composted 87 million tons of that. Uh, it's about 34.3% uh, recycle rate is what they call it. Uh, on average, uh, we composted one, recycled and composted 1.51 pounds of our individual waste generation of 4.4 pounds per person per day. Uh, so we need to do something guys. Uh, we need to save our resources in space. Uh, everyday items we use and then throw away, such as uh, product packaging, packaging can be it can be made more efficiently, so that it'll in the long run it'll be less less work to after you recycle it. So the recovery. So there's. Uh, we can, we can recover useful materials such as paper, uh, glass, plastic, and metals. Uh, we can re recycle from the trash and make new products, reducing the amount of raw materials needed. Uh, there's plastic in the ocean, uh, and there's also junk in landfills. Uh, we can compost, uh, that's another, there's different you know, genres of this thing. And compost involves collecting organic waste, such as food scraps and yard trimmings, and storing it under conditions designed to help break it down naturally. And then the result is a compa compost, and it can be used uh, as a natural fertilizer. And then I touched on earlier source, uh, re source reduction and or waste prevention. It's designing products to reduce the amount of waste that will later need to be thrown away, and then also make the resulting waste less toxic. Uh, plastic is a substance that is made to last and does not biodegrade significantly. That's what the EPA says. Um, in 2015, there was a, there was a study and uh, Alarmingly, they found that eight trillion microbeads were entering the aquatic environments throughout the United States every day. So, President Obama, he signed a, a bill into law and he banned microbeads in all personal care products. The act is an indication that microplastic pollution will not be, we're not gonna mess around with it. Uh, this is a zooplankton who ingested uh, plastic. It's not, I mean, it's getting into the fish and we eat the fish and we're, we're just gonna, we don't know what's gonna happen with our, with our genes and our genealogy. Uh, so just going back a little bit, I just, we need to recycle better and then that's gonna take societal change uh, so be engaged, uh, don't just throw your trash around, you gotta separate stuff, and then it can be recycled. Um, and then if we do this, we can have a bright future, we can have clean oceans, and we can have happy animals swimming in the oceans and running on the land, because they won't be tripped up by those, by those uh, little plastic things that you connect coatsies with. Everything could be beautiful for our kids and grandkids, and if we don't do thing, uh, don't do this. Things are just going to get worse. Everything's going to become disgusting, and we're going to live in our own filth. And uh, so, in conclusion, we need to get over ourselves and clean up after ourselves. Thank you.